And Gamers Force again, this time playing with the Vixen Booster Book, Episode 9. And what has happened? Oh, you'll see. Just watch the last episode. So I'll go on with speed. <laughs> Simply because every single video I've recorded from now, once again, has between 16 and 18 minutes. And I hate cutting. I really do. So I won't try to. So now we're at the holy, this looks actually not that bad. Kind of cool. Okay, well, this last little team, well, this is where his body is, but who dragged him down into the cellar? Put dead corpses, dead people, dead people. Dark Lord, do you see that too? This is Roncaldo. And, uh, rough guess, he's uh, dead for about two days now. Who's that? Roncaldo, or at least somebody that looks like Roncaldo. Uh, out of which hellhole did you come from, demon? Show us uh, what you really look like. Oh, you'll never see that old man. You walk directly into my trap. You will never return to the surface. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> I think that's what he says. Uh, first you killed Rom Ron Caldo, and then uh, using his form you got into a group, and then you took Libra's form, telling him to meet Lazelatine, and killed him with that. Well, he, of course, he didn't think anything evil of Libra until you, like, shot your claws into his face. But, but why did you steal his dead body? Uh, uh, it should be, of course, a given that you would gain attention when the dead bodies start disappearing. Well, my targets? My... no, oh, whatever, the dead people. They do, don't die. Oh, they get up again a couple days later. A little rotten, little. That's not a real pretty picture, all these zombies that just walk hungry and brainless through Doosterburg. And then uh, finally I get what I wanted. What? What does he want? Whatever. Okay, you'll just have to leave this place again. And without your help, your female companion will soon lose her pretty head. Oh, I'll, I'll know to stop you. Demon ball? Oh, it's demon. Sandra fight scene! And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fast forward through this fight after I heal Julie. My bad. No! Why can't I heal Julie? This is bulls. Crap. Whatever. I'll fast forward and I'll save time with that. Oh yeah? What now? In your face. Oh, you you have really managed to beat me in this image. I know. <laughs> You're better than I thought. Oh that guy! The one that the king hired to kill me. That makes sense. Well then now I'll fight against my real form. <laughs> A gross, bad smelling demon. So this is Ronaldo's or Ronaldo's true form. Uh, please think about this, Grandy, that only magic can really, really harm him. Okay, if that's the case, I'm just gonna heal myself and let you do all the work. And, uh, actually, I'm gonna fast forward through this, too, because, uh, time is just a minor boss fight. There's actually a major boss fight, but whatever. I'll see you after the fight. That sucked. Ah, yeah, I should have totally gone grinding. Uh, thing that happened here is uh, he has this one spell that can paralyze the entire party, which worked. Then Dankward died, and Grandy was low in health, so he's like, "Hey, Dankward, do you think you can heal me? Oh, why are you dead?" Then Grandy died, and I can't give the doc commands. Plus, it wouldn't help anyway. So, I'll skip ahead to the fight because exactly same things are gonna happen. Oh, how does my foot taste? Yeah. Well, the only reason I could actually defeat him is because I uh, I obtained the Vampire Slayer Sword. Uh, because, as Dankward said, only magic can harm him. 
but yeah, what now? <laughs> Go to hell, face. And I got Ronaldo's arm. I mean, Ronaldo's armor. Uh, the shapeshifter said that his uh, targets would come back as zombies. Uh, we're gonna need these uh, dead bodies to prove the innocence, uh, evidence, blah blah blah. So we're gonna return later and burn. I mean, burn the dead bodies. Yeah, sounds like a plan. So let's go back to the captain guy, general dude face. And tell him that Libra is 200% innocent. Ish. <laughs> what do you want now? Oh, we solved your case. Libra is innocent. So, so, uh, well, tell me what you got to tell. Uh, it's a shapeshifter. I mean, the shapeshifter has Lazuli team. Uh, he took the form of Roncaldo. He uh, joined us. Uh, following that, he took Libra's form, met Lazuli team, and killed him. And also, we think that he took the form of Darion, the in guy. Oh, that, that sounds pretty fantastic. Uh, do you have any proof? Well, just send a few people down to the sewers. There's a chamber full of dead bodies. Uh, you'll find plenty of evidence, but uh, beware of zombies. Uh, they're all... Well, they've all been killed by the shapeshifter. Well, I'll do this personally. Just wait for me. Uh, that sounds like it's <laughs> one day later. Did I wait up there for a day, or did I just go home? Nah, whatever. Unimportant. Oh, hey, we're back at the house. Uh, so we managed to do it, but uh, we still can't leave the town. Uh, ex uh, excuse me if I was a little mean to you back then, but uh, I was just afraid that you would leave without me. Dear Libra, you should know Grandy uh, enough to know that he will never leave his friends alone. Uh, but something else worries me. Uh, we can safely assume that Von Fried was behind all of this. Uh, so he at least thinks that he knows that what we're going to do. I think that makes sense. Uh, Deucerbrook is no longer safe for us, so we should, uh, hurry and leave. I think you're right, Dankward. Let's go to the mayor. Oh, the mayor's a face. I don't like him. Oh, I think it's time safe. Oh, dog left. Sad. Oh, okay. So, the dead bodies, uh, case off. Go to the mayor. Actually, I'm not gonna go to the mayor. Firstly and firstly. Let's burn the dead bodies before they come back and bite me. That'd be horrible. Okay, you first. See you, Lazy Latin. May your soul rest in peace. Ha! Huh, Libra gained a level with that. That's pretty bad. But, whatever. Who am I kidding? Experience points is. Experience, whatever. Who cares? Ow! That was my hand. Alright, and before I go to the mayor, I'm gonna have another little side thing. Yay, another side quest with Felix. Okay. Uh, it was over here, that way. Alright, hexagram, let's do this. I think it was, uh, that, that one, that one, uh, crap, uh, that one. That one. That one. Dun 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 dun! with right level 21. Ha 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 ha! Experience for Felix. What now? Okay, now we go back up. Let's go down this way. I like how they all open right now. But before this uh, story happened, everything was impassable. Oh, that's not the way. What's down here? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, crap, old guy. Oh, zombie. Zombie. I don't want to fight them. Even though I just died because I didn't have enough experience points. Uh, I should. I would, holy crap, this place freaks me out. Oh, another vamp, I mean, vampire killer, except for this one's called something else. Can I equip it? 
Thank you. So I got the Vampire Splitter and the Vampire Shiner. I don't know. I'll call him something. Holy crap. Fast forward. Oh yeah. Actually, maybe I should level just for the fact that I need better armor. Like that nine thousand dollar piece of armor that I need three of, so I need twenty-seven thousand. I have crap. Oh, die, you zombie face. Yeah, I'll do it eventually. I'm pretty sure when I do finally realize that I really, 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 really re need money, it's going to be such a pain to get all of it that I won't be able to do it. Oh yeah, I just, uh, while the audio was compressing in the background and I was working all of the stuff, I was looking at my save file that I have a little bit from the... Oh, I'll talk about it in a bit. Okay, there you are. Uh, we have to get out of... Do step work. How about this uh, travel pass? Okay, people like we could use people like you. Okay, shut up. We need this thing. There's a patient in the insane asylum. His name's Terius. Ah, uh, weird case. Doesn't talk a, w a word. Just does music. Okay. Uh, Alphonse Einbein, which is the doctor of the place. Uh, that his music has weird effects on the environment. Manfred uh, now wants us to investigate in that. Okay, so what kind of animals do we have to test them on? I mean, thanks. Uh, one animal, one human, and one vampire. Oh, <laughs> wait, a, a vampire? I'm sorry, but I think we just killed them all. Uh, spare your jokes. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to do. Now we have to work for Manfred. We're gonna have to catch Kitty and all of us, get to the Terrius. Okay, as you said the name of the boy Terrius, I got this feeling again. Well, that bad? I mean, the name's not that bad. No, I mean, I, it sounds familiar. Oh, well. Yeah, we're gonna learn him in a bit, so I'm gonna stop talking here. I'm gonna get a kitty and a person and a vampire in the next video, and uh, as well as a battle montage where I'm gonna raise my levels. Oh, yeah, talking about what I did earlier is uh, that my equipments are the exact same 10 levels from now, which may be two, three hours. So, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll manage somehow to beat this game with what I have. But yeah, that's all from Gamers Force. I think this was episode 8. I'll see you in the next episode. See you around.